so today i am going to discuss about the design of counter foot retaining wall part 4 so part 4 deals with design of heel slab heel slab design of a counter foot retaining wall learning outcomes at the end of this session students will be able to analyze and design the heel slab of a counter foot retaining wall design a counter foot retaining wall if the height of the wall above the ground level is 5.5 meter now please remember if the height of the embankment is more than 5 meter the cantilever retaining wall is not uneconomical we have to go for the counter foot retaining wall so sbc of soil is given as 180 kN per meter square angle of internal friction 30 degree the unit weight of backfill is 18 kN per cubic meter keep spacing of the counter foots as 3 meter coefficient of friction between the soil and the concrete is 0.5 adopt m20 grade concrete mix and fe415 steel so we have already discussed proportioning proportioning means fixing sizes of the different units of counter foot retaining wall and stability analysis of counter foot retaining wall so unless and until you do proportioning and stability analysis you cannot go further for the design so therefore it is prerequisite to see this first then second we have done design of stem slab this is in part 2 so design of stem slab we have done that is in part 2 and design of toe slab we have done that is in part 3 now we are dealing about design of heel slab of heel slab of counter foot retaining wall Now this is the section and this is the plan of counter foot retaining wall. So you will find this is stem, this is toe slab and this is base slab. So that is total base slab, a portion of base slab below the earth fill, a portion of base slab below the earth fill that is called as heel slab. A portion of base slab below the earth fill, it is called as heel slab. So this heel slab is resting, the heel slab is again a continuous slab, one way continuous slab, heel slab is again a one way continuous slab which rests on these counterforts, which rests on these counterforts. So as a stem slab is one way continuous slab, here heel slab is also one way continuous slab. So therefore the difference between the Bending moment for a cantilever when you go for cantilever retaining wall, it is WL square by 2. Now here it is WL square by 12 because of this continuous. That is cantilever and this is continuous. So that is the advantage of going for counterfoot retaining wall. Now this is the section. Now this you have already done. These pressures we have already determined. The pressures we have already determined in the first part itself. So in the first part we are supposed to first check the stability of retaining wall against overturning, then against sliding, then we have to check the pressure below the retaining wall, base of slab of the retaining wall, should, maximum pressure should not be more than SBC and minimum pressure should not be negative or it should be upward reaction not downward. If it is negative what happens this uh, edge will lose contact with the soil and it becomes unstable. So that is the reason we have to do stability analysis first. Now this is already dealt how, we, how these values are determined. It is already dealt in the first part. So now we are dealing with this heel slab. This is heel slab. This is heel slab and it is from the inner face of the stem and up to the end under the backfill it is heel slab. And this 124.5 kN per meter it is the weight of the soil on it. So weight of the soil which is on this so that is UDL 124.5 kN per meter. And this is the pressure, pressure is varying because of this horizontal force that is lateral force coming on the stem slab you get a stabilizing moment destabilizing is your weights so you have to 
design this particular hill slab for difference of these two pressures for difference of these two pressures so therefore actually here the pressure will be maximum downwards therefore this particular hill slab it bends like this so tension will be at top for the hill slab tension will be at top for the toe slab it bends above so therefore here tension will be at bottom portion and here the for heel slab the tension will be at top portion so your design steel will be at the top here for the heel slab whereas it is at bottom for the toe slab now heel slab design in this we have already seen in the part 3 that additional thickness of heel slab we are uh, we have increased because it was not safe against shear the toe slab was not safe against shear therefore we have increased the thickness so additional thickness of heel slab do not create shear force bending moment because it is a downward load again you are having reaction towards top it neutralizes so therefore pressure will not change the same analysis maintained but for design of effective depth is taken as 300 because already we are we have provided 350 mm thick uh, base slab so by keeping effective cover 50 mm because it is buried below the ground so therefore the effective depth if i consider 50 mm uh, effective cover from overall depth 350 so effective depth was out to be 300 mm the soil pressure at the junction of the with the uh, system it will be 26.7 minus this uh, uh, the total pressure 170.5 minus 426.7 divided by 4 that is the length into 2.9 it was thought to be 131 newton per mm square that is the balance of this uh, total pressure downward and upward upward is uh, trapezoidal and downward is udl so load from the backfill it is 6.5 into 18 that is the density it is 117 kilo newton per meter square and load it is 6.5 is the total height 18 is the density it is 117 kilo newton per meter square load from the thickness of slab so 0.31 into 25 7.5 so therefore addition of these two works out to be 124.5 so 124.5 is downward and this is the pressure up at the face of the now this is 131 we have calculated pressure at this particular face and this is 26.7 so first i have shown the calculation how we got this 131 then i have showed the calculation how we got this 124.5 is it clear so now we have to calculate maximum downward pressure intensity is at the h because it is 124.5 minus 26.7 it is 97.8 kilo newton per meter square it is downward if i consider 1 meter strip it works out to be 97.8 kilo newton per meter review question where will be the critical section for maximum bending moment in a heel slab at the face of the counter foot over which it rests at the inner face of the stem slab all of above or none of above can you guess what is the right option the answer is it is at the face of counter foot retaining wall over which it rests because it is a continuous slab now you have to find out the bending moment bending moment l square by 12 it is because it is continuous one way continuous slab wl square by 12 it is 73.35 MU is 1.5 times that 110. So longitudinal main bars required for effective depth we have considered 300 mm. So by using G 1.1 B of IS 456 2000 we have calculated area of steel. It was sort of 1098 mm square. Now the spacing of 16 mm bars again area of one bar into thousand divided by area of steel required. It was sort of 181 mm. 
so let us provide 16 mm bars at 180 spacing center to air the, this is near the edge this is near the edge as you go towards the stem it is reducing therefore you can increase the spacing further since the downward pressure reduces linearly the spacing may be increased to 300 mm towards the junction towards the junction of the hill slab and the stem so distribution steel again is 12 mm diameter bars at 225 center to center is provided at right angles to the main bars now this is the section now this is the hill slab now here you'll find these dots these dots are the main steel that is 16 mm diameter 180 center to center it is not necessary to provide 16 mm diameter 180 center to center throughout because the pressure goes on reducing when you go towards the edge of this we have seen the pressure diagram so therefore further it is increased to 16 mm diameter 300 center to center and another bar which is coming horizontal that is 12 mm to 25 center to center that is minimum steel and again at the bottom you are having same 12 mm to 25 center to center so this is the reinforcement arrangement in hill slab so these are the references used for preparation of this particular presentation thank you